just happiness but there's happiness and then there's ass shaking and then there's tears and then there's frustration and anxiety and let's face let's see what that see see at that say i'm taking spanish this semester my ass won't fail hey guys welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the title below today i am coming with you, to you guys with an advice video for the new freshmen coming into college their first year, I know some students have already went into college recently. I know people from the DMV area, <clears throat> the best city. I know that a lot of students have already started and kind of dived into their first year with orientation, but I know I have some great advice and great tips to help you with your first year of college because I'm tea. You go into college thinking it's so flowers and peaches and just happiness but there's happiness and then there's ass shaking and then there's tears and then there's frustration and anxiety and but let's get into the video numero uno okay advice tip number one one thing i wish that i would have been told is how important your syllabus is for all your classes and how organization with those syllabus your syllabus is so important. Like, when you get your syllabus, you need to study it at least your first week of school, like for each class. Because let me tell you, for one of my classes first semester, I ended up practicing and studying for my exam like a week prior to having my exam. But on the syllabus, it said that I needed to have studied from the first day of class and like prepared notes since the first day of class so I was like really struggling because I didn't take the time out to read my syllabus so that is very important because certain things will sneak up on you you'll think you have like analyzed the full syllabus and it's just like oh well looky here I didn't know that was there and it's like you do face the consequences and you are penalized for not turning in certain assignments and for some classes um when you study for your exam, the first assignment you have on your first day can really apply to your exam or something that will be on your final exam. So just make sure you stay organized as far as like binders. You can have those dividers and divide each divider for each class and have your syllabus as the first page. So when you open that binder, you see your syllabus, you see the class you got for the day and the assignment you have for the day or for the next couple of weeks and start that assignment ahead of time because... Let me tell you, procrastination is horrible. It's, no one is going to remind you. You are grown now. You are going into college. You're no longer in high school. No one's going to remind you to get up. No one's going to remind you about your assignments. Some professors are nice like that, but you're responsible for your work and what you need to turn in on what day. So you need to make sure you read your syllabus prior to really diving into your classes so you can already be prepared and ready. College advice tip number two. So as a college student, you will have your student ID card that will have money on it for restaurants on campus. I don't know how other schools work, but I know from my school we have like a coffee shop, kind of like a fast food shop. We have chicken and burgers and fries and things of that nature that you'll find at like a regular fast food place. Hunty, if, if you are not financially there, I know I'm not financially there. I'm a broke college student. I'll just tell you that now. I'm never like really in need of anything, but you know, when you get tired of the cafeteria food, you will have wants, and you might want to go, you know, after studying, you might want to go to a little restaurant and stuff. Save the money on your card for your final exam, because you know, the cafeteria closed at 8 o'clock, so <laughs> what am I going to eat? <laughs> that money is free on that card, huh, T, so save it. I would definitely advise you to save it around the time you have your finals, kind of thug it out and eat the cafeteria food or just when you have a big test coming up and when you want to just treat yourself because when you're studying you get tired you get hungry and sometimes you just want to treat yourself so that is definitely advice for this one because <laughs> baby girl <laughs> um when you are in your first year of college there can be very there can be distractions that you can have and, and you definitely want to stay focused because it's so easy to like forget about the tunnel vision and the goal of your first year which is academics obviously that's how you're going to pass and get a good GPA and there are other things to do like you know have fun go to parties join sororities fraternities join sports and stuff but number one is your academic I personally wouldn't advise 
anyone to go into college and a relationship or get into a relationship while you're in school with someone at your school if you've had like a long-term relationship and like you've had you've built like good community because i know people that have entered school in a relationship and are still with the person they were with after their freshman year however i know that a lot of people including myself have gotten into a relationship in school and it kind of like shifted my focus so i'm just talking my own personal experience it kind of shifted my focus so i would definitely advise you to just you know you can have a boo or two or three you know whatever floats your boat but i don't think a relationship is always the best decision to make depending on how you know you no one knows you better than you know you so if you know that you can still focus and prioritize yourself and still make time for another person then that's fine i personally can't do that i maybe now but like my first year i was just so you know fresh into school and i was still adapting so it was a big distraction for me so if you have good communication in your relationship great that's perfect for a first year student if you don't and you know that you're easily distracted then i wouldn't advise you to get into a relationship your first year of college because it can be a distraction and it can like change your focus on your academics and sometimes it can make your grades go down my gpa is still a three point you know whatever but you know it can be a distraction so just make decisions wisely when it comes to being in a relationship your first year of college four so I think a lot of people forget how important it is to build relationships with your teachers and your professors. And I will say that my professors fell in love with me. And I fell in love with my professors. And you want to make sure that you get those networking skills like kicked in your first year of college. Like even your first day of class if you have social anxiety issues or you just have a huge shyness issue. I am shy myself. But try after your first day of class. Introduce yourself to your professor, tell them your name, try to build a conversation. And if they're busy or they're going somewhere and stuff, just introduce yourself to them because you definitely want to build a close relationship with your professor because they're in control of your grade. And the more you get along with them and build a bond with them, the easier it is for them to help you when you need help on work. Or if you have that B minus list, they might bump it up to a B plus. Okay, you want to make those great connections with your professors and not just professors but faculty members staff people that have the same career interests as you just build those connections don't try to make it like professional professional you want to build like a friendship kind of bond kind of thing professionalism is very important but don't forget to humanize yourself just ask them what's your favorite thing to do what hobbies you know things like that that really builds good connections and great networking skills in college and that will really benefit you in the future for example if you want someone to write you a letter of recommendation you want internship opportunities job opportunities i know a girl in my class she was a senior she was looking for a job she talked to the professor every day after class and guess what sis got a job so you know you want to start building those networking skills now advice tip number five now this tip is for people who may suffer from anxiety depression if you're going far away and you know you may suffer from homesickness I would definitely say because I myself I suffer from anxiety and I'm still learning to manage it in my own ways and natural remedies meditating all that good stuff and so for me going to the University of the South which is in Tennessee I'm a DC I'm a city girl I'm not not that kind of city girl but I'm a city girl, you know, the city lights and all that kind of stuff. So going on a mountain in a secluded area was very hard for me. So I would definitely say when you get on campus, branch out. Try to make friends with people, you know. Don't step too far outside your comfort zone where you feel like you just can't manage. But challenge yourself to make, build friendships with people. Kind of try to join organizations. Even if you think you may not like something, you never know. Just branch out and try to... You know, explore the campus world and just see where you can find your home and your place on campus. The last thing I would recommend is for you to do, for you to do if you're feeling homesick, depressed, or anxiety, is to stay in your room. Don't stay in your room. Get out, get some fresh air, dance, sing, 
If you're in your room, clean up, open the curtains, get some light, get that vitamin D sis. Don't seclude yourself if you're feeling depressed on campus your first year because that will really make it worse. Anxiety, if it's hard for you to cope with, my school offers free therapy at the school that I know of some certain people that get therapy and it's free. So don't be afraid to like reach out for help. Six. How you say six in Spanish? Numero seis or siete? Siete? Se I'm taking Spanish this semester. My ass won't fail. Seis or siete. It's one of them. Anyways, time management is so important. Like... I think this is number one. This should have been number one. Time management is so important. You can study, stay up for hours till one o'clock, two o'clock, four o'clock in the morning, have a whole final exam, only got like two hours of sleep, and you sitting up there with your brain fried trying to do your work, and then you didn't study so hard, you didn't forget every damn thing. So time management is very important. I know it's hard for some, it's harder and easier for different kinds of people. What I would re recommend, my roommate, she had got like a whiteboard to put on her wall. So she would put for Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday through Sunday. She would just plan out her day every day. I walked around with the planner every day. And try to get a planner, calendar, anything you can put to just look at in the morning or carry with you to remind you what you have to do for the day. College advice tip number seven. This is the last one, I promise. Your books. Okay. There are some websites that I can put in the description below. Let me know if you guys want that. Um, don't buy your books firsthand. Please, please don't purchase the whole book firsthand, especially if it's a textbook, not a small little chapter book for like Shakespeare or like English one. A textbook. Because you never know who are selling their books from like previous years that are like sophomores juniors and seniors you can rent a book online you can rent a book from your bookstore it's just it's just so many ways you can try to like finesse and go around it without like throwing your money out there so definitely save for your books but let's see see who are selling books and stuff first and where you can rent them before you just throw your money out there and pay for a book because baby you could be saving your money Bro college student status over here, baby. I, I gotta save my money. So I'm, I just want to help you save yours. Hey, thank you guys for tuning in to another video. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.